Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lourdes and today we're going to be doing something totally different. So if you guys have been to my channel before and seen a couple of my videos, you'll see that most of it is actually just activewear reviews. This is what I like to do. So this is what you're seeing the majority of. I do love to try on activewear and I feel like wearing these clothes just gives you all the motivation to get into the gym and start having a great session whether you're training you're doing pilates or you're doing yoga whatever it is that you're doing i love putting on some fresh brand new active wear and it just gives me so much motivation to go into the gym i feel like i'm not alone here i feel like maybe you guys are feeling that too at least i've always been that way but this is the story of my fitness journey and this fitness journey of mine has been ongoing for years i'm not exactly in my 20s i'm in my 30s <laughs> and basically this is something that i have been doing since my early 20s it's still going it's still going so basically here i am still doing all the same things that seems to be proving to be working for me at least for me personally in this video i'm just going to be going over some things that i did and some tips and tricks maybe even some warnings i just want to go ahead and share my experience with you so maybe you guys have watched my videos before and wondered who exactly is she what's her history i will be telling you everything that I, basically i went through when i was losing weight from the beginning to the end it's a bit of a story so just kick back and relax i'm just gonna talk this is a little weird for me because I don't usually talk about my experiences, my past or anything like that. So pardon if I seem a little nervous and rambling, but it's just kind of not the usual thing that I put on my channel. I guess I'll start from the beginning. I will be putting up pictures and stuff like that so you guys can see how much, how big I was compared to how small I got and where I am now maintaining and doing maintenance and things like that. I feel like this video is also coming at a perfect time when the new year is beginning where a lot of people are putting their resolutions to action. A lot of people challenge themselves, especially at the very beginning of the year. Everyone wants to lose weight to make it a new year, to have a fresh start and just try to lose weight, try to bulk up, try to build muscle, try to become leaner, try to tone. I know the feeling. I've done this myself just so many times, so many times and so many times I have failed. I even failed last year, 2023, because I think to myself, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put on a little bit of muscle and I did kind of accomplish it, but not 100%. Like it could have been so much better. And I feel like I did put on just a little bit of muscle, but not as much as I would like. So I have to even take my own advice here. In a way, I'm kind of talking to myself too, because the one thing that you need to get to your journey, your, your fitness journey goals is to stay consistent. There's nothing more to it than that. Just stay consistent. If you're like a woman like me, obviously, sometimes I let my time of the month deter me. This is something that I need to stop and I need to let it go. Sometimes I feel crampy and upset and bloated and so uncomfortable and the last thing I want to put on my body is something compressive to my lower pelvis. I don't want it, but I have to get over it because sometimes you just have to push yourself. So I'm one of these that just relaxes those first couple of days of menstruation because it's not, it's not going to happen for me. I know that I I just don't have the energy to give to a workout. However, at the other days where it's already starting to end, some energy is coming back into me in those days. I don't know if you guys are the same, but this is a time where I need to learn to push myself. Maybe you do too. You just, you gotta stay consistent. You gotta keep doing it and 
don't let anything deter you. So since my early 20s, I did struggle for a while there. I had already lost 40 pounds and how I did it, pretty much the same thing. Only one of my cousins had actually let me borrow her treadmill and I put up that treadmill in my bedroom and I just started walking and walking and it was consistent. I tried to do it three, four times a week, just walking, 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 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, whatever two miles got me to. It wasn't always two miles though. So I just tried to do what I could, tried to eat a little bit less, got to that job and there I go. I started eating again, tons of soda, tons of junk food, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, KFC, you name it, I had it. It was morning, afternoon and night. I'm not even kidding, it was my life on junk food. I got to my heaviest, heaviest weight, 192 pounds. I know some of you out there are probably thinking that's not a lot. To me, it was my heaviest. And one day I look at myself in the mirror and I start to realize I am not happy. <laughs> at all in my jeans in my shirts i was not happy at all i was very upset with myself very disappointed so i was just very low on my self-esteem i was unhappy with how i looked how i felt like within my own body i just felt unhealthy i always had acid reflux i was just not great not great at all so one day my brother is basically he just looks at me like like an up and down size size you up kind of deal and he literally tells me Lourdes you're fat and no one has ever told me you're fat into my face before and honestly I felt so angry so angry with him I I don't even remember what happened at that moment but I do know that I went to the bedroom went to my bathroom I locked myself in I cried I was so angry with him but at the same time that mirror was showing me what he saw and what he saw was the truth i was fat and i had to not be mad at him for telling me but be mad at myself for allowing it so i just had to figure out I had to figure out how I was gonna change this. I had to change it. And I did not wait until January 1st to do it. I just wanted to do it ASAP. This was a long time ago, guys. I had that treadmill. Remember, I lost weight with just that treadmill and cutting down on some foods, but not stopping the junk food. And I don't even know how I lost 40 pounds that time, but it happened, I guess the difference of not doing anything at all and being 100% sedentary to being more active, lightly active I would say, was enough to make that 40 pound weight drop. However, in this case, I wanted to change it and I wanted it to last. And what did I do? I turn on the TV one night and I'm laying there in my bed and I turn on the TV guide of all things. And the TV guide is like Zumba infomercial. And I was like, what the heck is Zumba? But then I remembered that my mom had told me something about Zumba at some point. And I was like, oh, let's see what this actually is. Cause I heard it was something to do with fitness. And I click on the channel and it starts the entire infomercial. I watched it. It was like 20 25 minutes by the end of the infomercial i was like okay i'm convinced i could give it a shot it's mostly cardio i could lose weight but i have to change my diet so i'm gonna change my diet but let's go ahead and order this zumba dvd set exactly as how i'm saying it that's how i did it i ordered the dvd as soon as it came in i pop in the dvd and i'm like okay i think i forgot i don't know how to dance but this is a program that teaches you how to dance anyway. So I started doing the beginners step by step. Even though I am a daughter of Latin people who all know how to dance salsa and merengue and all these things. Me, I am like a board. I move side to side and my body doesn't really move around. <laughs> and i just thought well i have to give it a chance i spent my money now i just I have to give it a chance and i did and it's it took me a while it took me a while to actually get familiar with all the steps but eventually it did start I, I did start realizing that i was starting to move a little bit ebb and flow with the music 
So I decided, obviously, it's time to change up this diet. This is my honesty here, okay? There were no diet pills. There were no diet plans, okay? This was back when like Atkins was the thing, high protein meals, that kind of thing. I didn't do that. I didn't do any pills. I didn't do any Atkins diet or skimming diets or any of the fad diets that you look up online and that's, that's what so-and-so is telling you that they lost a ton of weight with they didn't even have to work out but that's not what I did I didn't do that because I knew that that was not gonna last me a long time so I knew I had to make what I call or what anyone calls it's not just what I call it lifestyle changes lifestyle changes this is what's gonna help you you have to actually change your life this isn't this isn't just about having one chicken salad and a couple of days of exercise and there you go that's it you lost the weight back to your normal routine of eating junk food and all that stuff that's not gonna work that's not gonna keep you maintained as the years go along at least that's how it was for me so tip number one lifestyle changes okay make them keep to them 100% this is what's gonna change your life this is what's gonna keep you in the line depending on what how much exercise you do what exercises you do how you do them and what you're eating one other thing that helped me a lot was portion control i know a lot of people feel kind of like oh portion control isn't really necessary for me if you're changing your diet like a full 180 of your diet for example in my case what i had to do was take my Big Mac sandwich and replace it with a salad or a turkey sandwich or chicken or salmon, whatever it is that you want to change it to. I had to completely 180 the whole thing. Cut the soda, cut the sugary drinks, cut all of those things. In the end, this is what's gonna help you because those are the things that, if you can change those things, then you maybe you don't have to go so hardcore into the exercise. I got hooked to Zumba. I, I mean, I, I feel like nowadays you tell someone, oh, they're losing weight with doing Zumba or oh, they're doing Zumba every day. So I feel like the stereotype nowadays of people who do Zumba are like middle-aged moms or grandmas that, you know, need to do some kind of workout. For me, it wasn't like that at all. I was in my 20s. I was young and healthy and I wanted to change my life. I wanted to include some exercise into my life and Zumba was perfect for that. So within the first week, I dropped five pounds just with the basics of Zumba. I tried to do it every day in order to get my body to get used to dancing because I didn't dance. Even though I did a dance class, two dance classes actually in my high school years they were mostly like ballet and contemporary dance and it it wasn't you know it was just like weird movements kind of like but you didn't have to like be flowing you could totally be rigid in that kind of dance so I wanted something to like loosen me up and help me to actually learn how to dance because you're dancing salsa you can't be like a little stick you have to be like a noodle you kind of wave around a little bit you know so this is what I, I got myself into it and I really, really, really got addicted to doing Zumba. I had so much fun and I just saw the pounds shedding, shedding and shedding. So like I said, my diet had to change. What did I actually change it to? So the thing is, I didn't go to a nutritionist. I didn't see any doctors. I didn't seek any professional advice. Heck, I didn't even Google anything. I didn't look online. I didn't... I just stuck to the basics, diet and exercise. My diet before my whole weight loss journey, my diet was all over the place. I would have burgers and tacos and, and so much stuff, so much stuff that's not good for you. And I just basically changed it to what was good for you. I had a lot of chicken salads, a lot, okay? My lunches at work change from a pizza or going down the street to this little restaurant called Abon Pan. I would get like a big sandwich there and it was just huge and dripping with 
degrees and yeah I eliminated all of those things and I just stuck to having yogurts and jello and crackers and nutrient bars and things like that so that would consist of my lunch because for while I was at work I wasn't really so into having like a huge lunch anyway I always first lunches I always just usually snack and I'll have little bits of this and that and that'll pretty much fill me up until dinner time. Dinner time was always my biggest meal of the day. So my breakfast, let's go back because I skipped straight to lunch. So my breakfast pretty much contained coffee and milk. So essentially it's a latte, um, but it's a cafe con leche. So if you want, go ahead and search that up what a cafe con leche is, but it's pretty much like a latte, but like more equal amounts or a little bit less coffee and a little bit more milk so that and that alone no toast no bananas no bread no i just said bread with toast <laughs> none of that stuff i didn't have oatmeal i didn't have cereal i had nothing but a simple cafe con leche and not too much like if the cup was i don't know what eight ounces I would have half of that even if the cup was a little bit more full I just I wouldn't touch it but that's just me I'm used to that that's my kind of breakfast this is what I always have done for breakfast so it's nothing strange for me to continue with that although you might want to maybe think about uh, getting a different kind of dairy that depending on what you're like I said guys like I'm not a dietitian I'm not a nutritionist I'm not an expert I'm just a person who lost 58 pounds and that's it but this is what I did I kept to my same vitamin D milk I'm not into almond I'm not into silk I'm not into anything else lately I have been liking lactate but I'm not so into it as much as MacArthur milk that's it that's basically all I would have uh, some sugar in there and that's it yes sugar yes sugar not splenda or anything like that no additives no nothing different just regular sugar two tablespoons mix it up and it's heaven it gets me through at least like one o'clock in the afternoon so i already explained lunch and then we have dinner so dinner is my biggest meal so by the time i get home breakfast and lunch have been digested hopefully and i'm hungry so what do I eat? I'll normally throw in either a tuna salad or a tuna sandwich, uh, turkey, turkey sandwiches. I love turkey sandwiches. Um, I do a lot of Subway, a lot of Subway. I, I just, I love it. I, I can't, that's what we have around here. So it's Subway for me. Any salad, any kind of salad. Sometimes I would, if I didn't have any chicken breast, I would buy like a chicken patty and cut it up into little pieces. And there you go. I mean, yeah, it's breaded, but you know, it's still chicken. It's all right. Um, I never leave out the dressing or anything like that. I, I must have dressing. It can't be a dry salad. I cannot eat it. It has to be something, either vinegar, ranch, something. There's got to be something in there. Uh, I did not cut down on cheese, just lower fat cheese. So definitely anything that I could replace it with. So say, for example, if I had mayonnaise, I would try to go for light mayo. Anything that I could, you know, switch over to, that's what I would do. So my diet plan in itself was much more simple. It wasn't so crazy. It was just simple, simple changes. So if I used to eat a Big Mac or a Whopper, I'm exchanging that for a turkey salad or chicken salad or a turkey sandwich. So the changes and the elimination of soda was enough for my body to realize what was going on and incorporating those 30 to 40 minutes of Zumba. It was enough. It was enough. Fast forward nine months, I lost 58 pounds. As a matter of fact, during that time, I was getting ready to go on my first ever trip to Europe, to Spain, and I was super excited. 
but it was a lot of money to save up and I was not making a lot of money so I had to do a lot of overtime including I think it was like eight days of working straight and then three eight to eight shifts so 12 hour shifts I was extremely tired and I would come home there would be no exercise then but somehow I guess my body still managed to lose and I got all the way down to 133 pounds at that time when I went to um, when I went to Spain and basically I lost a lot of weight I started at 192 and I ended up all the way on 133 and a lot of people were like wow what are you doing give me the tips i specifically remember so in those days i was a receptionist at a nursing home and i'll never forget that the lady that would come in with her dog for the pet therapy that lady would always tell me that she was so inspired by me and she actually started to lose weight i told her what i was doing zumba and basically cutting out a bunch of junk food and just changing everything up and she was so inspired to, be, to think that she was inspired by me made me so happy and she lost weight she lost like 20 pounds and she would come up every week and she would show me her abs and everything and she was like look at me look at me and I was like I am so happy for her so astounded that she actually took motivation inspiration from me from my weight loss and incorporated it to herself and hopefully I do that for somebody out there watching this video because that would just be amazing that would be great if you're watching this alita her name is alita you did awesome you did awesome and it's so it's just great to watch that you actually inspire someone to to do the same and to put themselves on a healthier lifestyle on a healthy path yeah basically after that um I did teeter somewhere between 135 to 150 pounds. There was a time there where I got up to 160. Naughty me. I was starting to get back into that bad lifestyle. And I thought, nope, we got to get this back into the right path. And started to drop weight again, thank God. Because I started putting back my lifestyle choices as the way I should and not come off of that at all and yes so i just maintained myself for these past couple of years coming down just doing the same thing i still do zumba and if you saw me if you if you saw me oh my god i i cannot even tell you i am the noodle now i there is no way to catch me not being a noodles sometimes i'm standing here just getting a cup of water and i'll just be dancing and my boyfriend will look at me like are you crazy do you hear music in your head it's like no you know you just you have that energy of zumba in you i don't know i actually enjoy it i actually enjoy it enough to have done it for years now and it has helped me to maintain myself right where i want to be so basically i'm somewhere between 145 and 150 now i'm last time i weighed myself i was 147 i would like to take it down to 140 and 140 and 145 and just stay there but i figure i'm not that far i'm okay i can take it slow dropping down a little bit of weight just a couple of pounds here and there just to stay where i should stay according to my height and my weight which if you're wondering what that is i'll have it down in my description box below i always have it there for my active wear reviews but if you were wondering what my measurements are anyway th that'll be down there but yeah i just pretty much decided to keep myself within that maintenance area and i feel like i'm I've never been happier. That's where I am. I'm just, I feel okay. Sometimes I do get the acid reflux a little bit, but shame on me for eating those tacos. So now I just look at myself in the mirror and I'm not thinking you're nasty, you're fat, you're gross. I, and my brother actually feels proud of me, which is great to me that he actually can use me as an example in his conversations with people. If he tries to tell someone, hey, I lost weight. I lost weight if he tries to tell someone the story of myself how he said he said it to me quite nasty he didn't have to say it the way he said it dropping an f-bomb like that on me but it worked it impacted me in the way that I had to get up and take action for myself I'm glad he did because it pushed me enough to want to take action and that's exactly 
what I did and I've kept taking action all of these years because I could just as easily fall into the junk food and gain up to 192 pounds once again and it's just not me my body will literally just it just it tells me when I am just overweight I just start feeling more aches more pains my back my this my that it just tells me it communicates to me I'm grateful to him for having told me not the way he told me, but having told me exactly what he felt, what he thought. And lately, I've been going more to the gym because I do want to tone. Because after losing so much weight, there's a little bit of extra skin in some places. And it's not exactly the most attractive to me. I am proud that it's there. Believe me, I'd rather it be loose skin than full skin and I've gained back a ton of weight. So I'm, I'm, I, I do wear it proudly because I've lost weight and I'm happy to say that that's no longer me, but now I wanna focus more on toning. So I have been going with my boyfriend to the gym. So my boyfriend is somewhat of my own personal trainer. He tells me what I should be doing for my triceps, for my legs, for my back sometimes i get lower back pain you know and on and on and on he is 100 percent my personal trainer he helps me to do everything and i have put on a little bit of muscle in the good old biceps so i am so happy about that and for the rest of this year that is exactly what i want to continue doing is to put more effort you see it's not a new year's resolution it is just a goal a regular all the way around your life goal not a new year as in December 31st okay you're done no this is forever try to have more intention with your workouts try to tone up a little bit more try to stay consistent with your exercises whether you're losing weight you're trying to become leaner you are doing it for your own personal health issues no matter what it is if you want to build muscle i'm sorry i don't have that information that a lot of people tend to tell you you have to have these many macros and your tdee must be here and i don't know about that so i cannot actually tell you about those things like i said i'm not nutritionist or anything like that i am not a personal trainer i but my experience is to keep track of your calories that's another thing that i did i did use an app called lose it and that app was very helpful for me tracking my calories any little barcode that i came across that i ate i would scan it into my app and it would tell me i also linked up my nike fuel band which i had before my apple watch and then afterward obviously my apple watches and i just synced up everything and that app did help me but like I said, I can't tell you about those macros and stuff like that because I just don't know about that. Yeah, and that's it. I just, I just kept on and I found what I like. What I recommend you do for you is find what you like. So for me, it's Zumba. I like to dance. I sweat my butt off dancing and I work hard to get the moves just right. And I have done a live class, but honestly, I prefer to do it in the comfort of my own home. I'm kind of embarrassed about dancing in public. <laughs> So I just stay at home and my boyfriend is the one who's laughing at me when I'm shaking my behind knee. You know, it's, that's just how I am. But I recommend you guys find what you like. Find what works for you. If you're into cardio, as in the treadmill, I, I can tell you for me, I hated standing on that treadmill. I hated walking the treadmill. To this day, I go to the gym and I do 30 minutes on the treadmill before I do any weightlifting. And I'm so anxious for those 30 minutes to be over. Also on the Stairmaster too, it just, it kills me and I hate it. I hate it, it's boring. Even though I put my heavy metal on, I still, I can't, I hate it. I That's the time I most hate. The fun part for me comes when I start lifting. So, but that's just my personal experience from it. Guys, I hope that this was helpful to you in any way. I know I just basically, it is what it is. What I told you is a story and then 
it is a story all the way through the, the tips and the tricks that I have are not many tips and tricks because like I said I'm not a professional in losing weight or anything like that but I did have a fitness journey and it is still ongoing because sometimes we do gain weight so you just gotta try to keep it off and stay consistent if there's one thing that tip number one out there it's not the calorie counter app it's not the apps that you are going on it's not workout during your period it's not it's nothing else but stay consistent that is all that you need stay consistent push and control if you can if you feel like you have to i did it it helped i don't do it so much anymore you know don't eat until you're you're like oh my god i can't eat anymore the moment you feel full stop right there that's what i did i didn't do any fad diets definitely did not do pills no liposuctions no plastic surgeries nothing like that nothing like that so yeah i mean i just kept it natural and simple don't drink soda <laughs> that's what i did that's what i did guys i hope it helps i hope it helps you for real and if it does please let me know leave any comments say whatever you want to say in the comments down below you know i hope you guys find the inspiration and the motivation you need to make yourself active to give yourself a healthier lifestyle because lord knows we only have one life and we cannot waste it <laughs> so please get yourself healthy this year for the new year 2024 and if i haven't said it already guys happy new year and i'll see you guys all in the next video if you do like this please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye